In this video, we take a look at the top 5 Minecraft Bedrock servers for 1.21. Starting off this video strong, we have SuperNet. The IP to this server is SuperNet.gg and the port is default 19132. When you load into this server, you will be greeted by this awesome looking lobby. And also, there will be a bunch of NPCs that will guide you through this server, but in order to get started, all you need to do is go into the chat and then type in a slash wild. This will take you to a random location on the map and make sure you do not move for 5 seconds, but eventually, it should teleport you to a random location in the world. And yo, okay, okay, we spawned near a cherry blossom biome, which is like legit one of my favorite biomes in all of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But yeah, from here, you can begin on your survival journey, explore all of the land, make new friends and honestly like one of my favorite things to do in SMP servers is like explore what other people have built I don't know about you but that's really fun to me Next up, we have Mando SMP. The IP to the server is Mando SMP live and the port is 25600 all you need to do is just save it and then let's go ahead and join it real quick. When you load into this server, you'll be greeted by this awesome looking lobby. It has a really cool red theme to it and it'll actually tell you the world size. So in the overworld, it is 100,000 blocks. The nether is 40,000 and the end is 75,000, which is honestly pretty cool. If you do ask me, there is a bunch of crates everywhere and there's also some leaderboards as well. So if you grind on this server, you can definitely make your way on these leaderboards. And if we go over here, we have a bunch of different NPCs that we could utilize. We could utilize the duel. We have the Discord right over there. We also have the shop, which you can purchase items for, of course, the SMP. Over here, we got the auction, home, south home, and a TPA. So there definitely is a lot of useful things over here. So let's go over here to the RTP. This is what will take you to the random location in the map where you can get started. And uh yeah, from here you could pick whether you want to go to the end to the overworld or the nether you know what let's go to the end dimension i don't think we've been there in a video so let's go ahead and explore it real quick okay so here we are in the end dimension so you know what i just realized this really isn't that practical because there's like no trees anywhere so i mean maybe this isn't such a good idea but you know what if you want the challenge then you could definitely go ahead and start your smp journey either in the end dimension or in the nether dimension or if you want to keep it simple you can keep it in the overworld and next up, we have the MCS server. The IP to the server is br.mcs.gg and the port is default 19132. When you load into this server, you will be greeted by this awesome looking lobby. It will say the name of the server at the very top over there. But in order to get started, all you want to do is click on the server selector and then it is going to show you all of the available game modes. So we got survival, we got townie, we got dungeon, skyblock, and lifesteal. So there is a lot of priority in this server. But you know what? Let's go ahead and activate the skyblock game mode. So let's go over here. It will give us a starter kit, which does consist of chain mail armor, which is pretty cool. And over here, here it will tell you how to actually create an island and how to manage it so in order to create an island all we need to do is type in slash is and then bam this should appear right over here and we can pick between all of these different islands we got the basic island we got a cherry island a patreon island desert island mycelium island and a normal island you know what let's go ahead and select on the cherry island i'm really curious to see how that looks like and oh yo this is beautiful okay i'm very glad with this and let's take a look at the starter kit okay not bad it does give us a decent amount of stuff to start off with and you know what this island is just so beautiful and it's rather big as well so you will honestly get a great start to your skyblock journey next up we have bosscraft the ip to the server is bedrock.bosscraft.net and the port is default 19132 when you load into the server you'll be greeted by this awesome looking lobby but all you gotta do is just step forward and you will see all of the different game modes that we have available so we got smp earth Earth, we got sky block we got one block and we also have prison so there is a lot of different game modes that you guys could pick so let's go ahead and play the one block i'm honestly really curious to see how it is so yeah okay it will give you a bunch of commands showing you guys step by step how to actually create your one block so in order to create your one block all you got to do is enter in the chat slash O B, which stands for one block, and then bam, this menu should appear. So all you want to do is click on O B Go, 
to go to your island and here it is okay yo so it's exactly what you expect so in order to get started all you got to do is just start breaking the floor and then obviously once you get a sufficient amount of blocks you can make your way out so like this is a much harder like form of sky block but it's really cool you know what i'm saying but we got some wood as well we got leaves we got uh, dirt mycelium okay okay yeah so what i really like is that there's like no lag in this server like we are breaking the block and there's no like weird glitch or anything like that so i can definitely appreciate it next up we have the server complex the server address is mps.mc dash complex.com and the port is default 19132 when you load into the server you'll be greeted by this awesome looking lobby but all you want to do is take a look at the compass and it will show you all of the different game modes we have so we got creative we got factions we got survival smp we got prison we got skyblock and lifesteal so there is a lot of different games that you guys could pick from but you know what let's go over here and click on the creative option because i don't think we've been there throughout the entire video and there's not many servers that actually include this so in order to actually get a plot all you need to do is type in it slash plot auto right over here and then it should automatically give us a plot where we can basically build whatever we want so yeah they definitely do give you a decent amount of space as well so if you want to build like a castle or you want to show off your building skills then this is the server to do it and this is the game mode to do it and let's go ahead and take a look at what some other people have built so yo what is this yo this is pretty cool there's a lot of detail in it and oh yo all right this is pretty cool so yeah you know you can legit show off your building skills like this guy did right over here and you know what this server is like really polished it's like constantly over a thousand people playing it so there definitely is a very active community behind it which i can definitely appreciate if you guys found any of these servers cool make sure to leave a like see you later french fries